This video reviews plotting and representing 2D inequalities on a pair of axes. And we're given three inequalities which we're going to construct on this one grid. Now the method here is to first of all draw each of these as if they are lines. So the first one, which is y equals x plus 2, to draw this we can find a series of coordinates by picking three simple x values to find the y coordinates and I tend to pick x is 0, x is 1 and x is 2. So suppose x is 0, 0 plus 2 equals 2. So when x is 0, y is 2. So when x is 0, y is 2. If x is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. So if x is 1, y is 3. And lastly, if x is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. If x is 2, y is 4. And I could then draw a line through those three coordinates. And that is the line y equals x plus 2. Now one key thing to understand with this is that if we've got this type of inequality which is a less than or equal to, we use a solid line to join the dots. You'll see the distinction in the second one in a moment. The second one, imagine y equals 3 minus x. We're going to draw the line for the moment. Now again, if x is 0 or x is 1, or x is 2, I can find the y coordinates. If x is 0, 3 take 0 equals 3. If x is 1, 3 take 1 equals 2. If x is 2, 3 take 2 equals 1. So I can plot these coordinates. If x is 0, y is 3. If x is 1, y equals 2. And if x is 2, y equals 1. So there are my coordinates, I can draw a line through, but again, if I've got a strict inequality, I use dashed or dotted lines. So there's my coordinates, I can just draw my dashed or dotted line through these three coordinates. And that passes through three on the x-axis. Now the last one is the line x equals now this is quite a simple line to draw because this is where x equals 3. And the line in which every x coordinate equals 3 has got to be a vertical line passing through 3 on the x-axis. It's got to be. However, it's a solid line, so I just draw a line going down which is solid like so. Now, in this question, there's a region which will satisfy all of those lines. And it's this region right in the centre, which I can put an R in to represent. The reason being is that X is less than 3. Y is below X plus 2, but Y is above the 3 minus x line. And in these questions, we're always left with a small region to label with an R or to shade in. And normally in the exam, they ask you to label it with the capital letter R. And again, for the inequality bit, y less means below the line, y more means above the line, and in this one, x was less than 3, so therefore we were to the left of the line. And this is my central enclosed region.